What's up guys? Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll post weekly videos on creating passive income and that's what we all want, we want to be independent. So subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to already the last video of the how to sell on Amazon for beginner series. This time we will talk about selling your product on Amazon. The last video, uh, in the previous videos, we talked about finding a winning product, optimized our product, we found a supplier, we created an account and listing, we created a shipping plan. So now the final video. You got your product, you've sent it to Amazon, so now you're probably wondering how are we going to sell? Well. That's mainly through advertising and in this video I'll show you how. Let's get into it. Start out at Seller Central, put your mouse above Advertising and click Campaign Manager. This is where we will be configuring our PPC. What is PPC? It's called pay per click. So people will click on your advertisement and only if they click on your advertisement, then you'll pay for the click. So because you're just starting out, there's two ways to create campaigns. One way is to create an automatic campaign through Amazon and they will figure out a way to uh, create a campaign for you. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that. It, it's good to, to let one run uh, so you can get some data from that campaign and you know what keywords work for you and which don't because it's very different with multiple products. So it's good to test it out for your specific product. So what you're gonna do is create campaign. Then you call it whatever you want. I say campaign one. Your daily budget, I like to put it high because I'm pretty uh, sure that if people click on my advertisement, it will convert to sales. So the more people who click, the more sales I'm gonna get. So the higher my daily budget, the more sales I get. So it's only good to set it high. But just set an amount for what you would like to do. Uh, maybe if you start 20 is all right, or 30, uh, don't go too high in the start. But if you're confident, you can put it higher. Then put a start date. And an end date, I'd say no end date for now. And then you can click on automatic targeting. Continue. So here again, you can give it the name you want. I just say add group one. Here you have your product. Then I blur this out, but here you will find your product. You can select it and you'll see it down here. And then default bit. I know. For me, uh, 60 works pretty well. But it's different for every product. You have to try it out a bit. Uh, I would say go at least a bit higher than the suggested bit and see how it works and then click save and finish. Okay, so now that you've created it, you can go to advertising and your campaign manager again and you will find your automatic campaign here. My suggestion, let it run for a few days, maybe a week or two weeks, and then you can click on the campaign and you can click on download search term report. And then you'll get this screen and then say create report and then you'll have an Excel file which show what keywords are clicked on and which work for you. And then those you can use in the following campaign we're going to make, which is a manual campaign. So when we get back to uh, the campaign manager, we can now create a manual campaign, which is more effective. Uh, you can click on create campaign, then type in your name. I say manual campaign, daily budget. Again, choose whatever you like. I like to put it high because you'll earn more money. An end date if you want, I don't put an end date. Then manual targeting this time. The last time we clicked automatic and now we click on manual. And again, you can choose the name you want. You click the product. Again, it's blurred out because I don't want you guys to jump into my niche. 
you'll find your product here and then here we go. Set a bid and provide keywords. These are suggested keywords. You can check them out. I don't like to use the suggested keywords. I like to use my own method, which I'll show you guys, which is quite effective. So let me show you guys. As you know, in my fourth video of this series, we talked about creating an account and listing. And with creating this listing, we used a tool which was called Keyword Inspector. If you haven't watched that part of this series yet, you can click on the card above, which shows now, and you can watch this video because you'll need this information for what I'm going to tell you right now. So if you watch the fourth video of the series, then you already have some Keyword Inspector uh, Excel files, and let's open them right now. All right, so this is one example of the Keyword Inspector search. Here you see all the search terms, and what I want you to do for now is filter them on estimated past month search volume. Filter and put them in descending order or from largest to smallest. Okay, so now that you've done that, you want to take the top 100 and copy them into a new Excel file, in an empty Excel file as shown here. You also want the numbers, so you go to the numbers, also 100, hundred. okay. Again, go to your other Excel file, paste them here. And now you got a list of good uh, keywords which uh, you can use for your campaigns. Now I want you to do this with multiple Excel files, multiple keyword inspector files. So let's take another one, for example this one. Again, filter them by monthly search volume, put them in descending order or largest to smallest. And again, here we go, take the top 100 and paste them below, so down here. I want you to put the, the data as well. This is the wrong file, this is the wrong file, this is the wrong file, damn it. Here we go. Okay, so I want to do this for this as well. Also top 100, here we go. And paste here. Do this as many times as you can. Maybe with five files, with six files, the more keywords, the better. Then your final task would be here, filter it. And again, for the last time, put them in order. And then you'll take the top 100 keywords And then you can copy them. You go back to your campaign, provide your own keywords, then paste them here, add these keywords, oh, and the default bit, I would say 0.79. There we go. And now you can see they're all added below here. So what you want to do now is save and finish. Okay, so now you have created your manual campaign. You can click on it, you can see it running, your default bits, you can adjust it, but for now just leave it. Click on it again, and again I blurred my product out so that you guys don't jump into my niche. Then you can click on keywords, and here you will find all your keywords which you put in, and also the keyword bit. There's going to be more people competing for certain keywords, so you want to win uh, from them because the highest bid gets the place in the advertisement. So usually what you can do is you can select everything and then say apply suggested bid. What this will do is 
this will make you uh, competitive. So if a competitor, for instance, offers 50 cents per click, then the suggested bid will be 50 cents. So you will have the same bid as your competitors. But we want to be higher than our competitors. So usually when you have a lot of data, my niche is too small, so I cannot click on apply suggested bid. Uh, what I have to do is create some data, keep advertising for a while, and then all of a sudden there will be some suggested bids. But you have to keep it running for a while. If you can click this already, you can click this and you will uh, change your keyword bids automatically to the perfect bid. But you want to be higher and how do you do that? You can then click on adjust bid and then increase it by let's say 3.10%. This is like a sweet spot. I use 3.10%. So compared to every competitor, I now have 3.10% higher bids on keywords, so I will win. I suggest you to do the same. As you can see, it has changed here by 2 cents. Apparently, that's 3%. Just keep playing with it. Keep checking which keywords work for you and which don't, and then keep adjusting your keyword bids. It's a bit of a trial and error, but just get into it. You'll learn it by just doing it, and you'll see you'll get higher conversions. So this was the end of this video and also the end of this Amazon series. I hope this really helped you guys. It helped me a lot when I learned this information. However, I had to pay for it and I wanted to, to just give this information to you guys for free. So I really hope you liked it. And if you liked it, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that makes me the most happy so thank you guys for your support and i will see you in the next video